Ryan coming back at you here with the latest installment of my Fatal Manning Mail Days. Uh, in a previous video, I alluded to breaking apart my two sets and starting a new one. I want to start off talking about that. Um, just way too much trying to chase down two sets at once. Uh, so what I was going to do is I, I broke apart the 2009 Exquisite set and my 2010 Five Star Base set and the set that I'm going to start as of right now. Uh, so please let me know if you have any of these. Uh, the 2011 Upper Deck Exquisite Rookie Patch Auto Set. Um, as a big college fan myself, I know a lot of you guys out there are pretty disappointed that um, uh, the NCAA licenses with Upper Deck and yada yada. I'm a big college fan, so I get, um, I mean, the patches that are in there, you know, the logo, the team patches, the Nike, the laundry tags, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm excited to put that set together. Uh, that I'm going to take my... Uh, a slow marathoner's pace too, <laughs> and just be able to focus on. I think there's like 71 cards in that set versus the 250 I was chasing, uh, in the other ones. So let me know if you have any of those uh, available, and maybe we could work out a deal. Uh, so yeah, that's the set that I'm gonna be doing. So that was first order of business. Uh, moving on, I will. Uh, I have a couple of Reggie Wayne pickups before I dive into my Manning stuff. Um, I will have a pretty substantial. I'm going to Cleveland for work next week. And uh, I'm picking up a pretty solid piece there and then come home to a very healthy piece um, that I'll show probably in about two weeks. Um, Samantha and I are going to go to West Palm Beach, Florida for my birthday at the end of the month. So I'll probably do a, maybe a poolside edition out there. That'd be nice because it's cold as shit up here. It's like 20 degrees and we're going to go down there and it's like 85. So uh, that sounds better than this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wear my bikini and everything. Hey, ladies. Uh, so, my uh, my Reggie Wayne pickups I got, <laughs> out of a 2001 Upper Deck, um, it is the jersey piece to 750. It's a rookie jersey of Reggie Wayne. Decided to bring that one in. Uh, this one was really hard to come by, uh, but this is out of 2010 Upper Deck Exquisite. The base short print to 35 in his Miami Hurricanes uniform. Uh, There's a really short print run of Exquisite that year. So... It's a really nice one. Most of Reggie Wayne's base cards, he's always like laying out. It's a horizontal card. So this one, he's like pointing to me in the stands. That's what he's doing on that one. If you hear the snoring in the background, that's my dog. She thinks this video is already boring. Um, and then last for the Reggie Wayne pickups is that a uh, 2001 Topps Chrome. Uh, this is a rookie refractor. This is a tough card. I know it just looks like a regular refractor. This is a rookie refractor short print to $9.99. This is a really, really rare card um glad to bring this in mint condition uh only bad thing i have to say about this is the guy lives in indiana and it took like seven days to get to me uh, so i don't really know what's going on with that um moving on to the manning pickups pretty excited about most of these my dog is snorting something fierce um this one is not autographed or anything like that but shout out to jason big fish 7499 he got me my first bobblehead of these I picked another one of these up. It's by the uh, Forever Collection. It's a short print to 5,000, if you want to call that short print. But I got this at a really good deal. So you got Manning in some variation of an outdoor stadium that's not in Indianapolis. He's looking at you. Mm. I know it doesn't look anything like him. It was made in China. So, excited to bring that in. I'll put that next to Jason's when the wife and I relocate here soon. Um, let's go to these next. I was missing one card out of my rainbow. I collect rainbows, right? I collect rainbows. I was missing one card out of my rainbow, and I got it. So now, I have my 2012 Topps Chrome rainbow. I'll flash through that real quick. So you got the base, the refractor, the exfractor, the retail exclusive orange, retail exclusive purple to four ninety nine. So the hobby exclusive camo to four ninety nine. Uh, breast cancer awareness to three ninety nine. The black border to two ninety nine. The prism, which is unique to this year only, to 216. The blue to 199. The old westerner, the sepia to 99. 
This is the one I, was, I had a, I had a tougher time finding this out of 50 than the one out of 25. This is short print 22 out of 50. I love gold. Camera not doing it justice. Card looks great in person. The gold parallel. And then the red to 25. So that rainbow is Dunzarella. Excited to put that together. I did see the Super Fractor 1 of 1 go up, and I was not going to go anywhere near that. So that's my the Chrome Rainbow for 2012. Huge. Um, and now the last stack here. <coughs> Starting off with a touch of grace. <clears throat> is that in 1998, this is Section 2, Row 1, Seat 3. This is a really tough, tough, tough card. At a Flare Showcase, this is the Grace... Short print, not numbered though, mint condition. This card is stunning. It's predominantly black with a lot of uh, other other cards that pop up out of it, other colors. Another one of these things that the camera's not going to do it justice, but maybe if any of you come up to Nationals, what up? I'll bring this with me. Uh, which, P.S., Andy Albert from Baseball Card Exchange shot me a message today, and anyone who's going to be coming out here through Indy, he's talking about possibly chartering a bus so there's enough interest um, for people coming through Indianapolis. Uh, I think he might be potentially chartering a bus for anyone who wants to go up there for two or three days uh, and save on driving expenses and whatnot and hang out with a bunch of other cardboard crack addicts. So stay tuned for more information on that. Um, this one was a pretty, pretty nice dupe. I was able to bring in it a steal. Uh, but this is a 1998 Upper Deck Encore. This is the, uh, the gold Encore short print 125 of 125 which is an ebay 125 of 125 and a math nerd one of one huh uh this one i picked up today glad to bring this in short print to 100 this is at a flare showcase legacy collection so it looks similar to the grace card but this is short print out of 100 you know, I've been trying to pick up a lot of these, the rookies, because they're super hard to come by. So when they come up, kind of got to jump on them. But this is the uh, Flare Showcase Legacy. Short print to 100. Glad to bring that in. And then last but not least, um, I had this card previously before. Uh, when I was, I sold some cards to raise funds for uh, my wife's engagement ring back in the day, which was a Wednesday. Uh, and then when I got back into the hobby on my new channel, um, I picked up this, the O9 Exquisite Short Print to 15. But the one I had prior, I had the number 1 out of 5, and I sent that into Beckett to get graded. And a thick, exquisite card came back, 9-5 with a 10 auto, uh, which is part of what I listed, uh, part of what I sold to raise funds for the ring, which was more important than cardboard, for sure. Uh, this other card came up. The guy had originally slabbed in a... BGS authentic case and uh, no one ended up buying it so he took it out of the case and um, sold it to me for a lot less than what I even offered him when it was in the authentic case so excited to bring this in it looks similar to the old one but number two of five. O9 exquisite inscriptions on card auto O9 MVP so now I got the silver and the gold so I was excited to get that back in my life. I know that the one of five is somewhere here in Indiana. Um, there is a larger Peyton Super Collector than me, but I've never met the person. I know their name is Rocky Cherry. That's all I know. <laughs> um, so that's all I have for right now. Pretty pretty awesome mail day for me there, and I'm excited to maybe do the, the Key West edition. Not Key West. Palm West Palm Beach. We wanted to go to Key West, but... We couldn't get it. We're flying Tran Tran because we had some free free airline vouchers at Tran Tran. Um, and next week when I go to Cleveland, I'm actually going to meet up with Dirty Joe 51 and his wife Casey. I'm excited to meet them in person. We're going to try to meet up one night while I'm out in the mistake by the lake in the middle of winter for work. <coughs> so, Joe, see you soon. Uh, closing right now with the bro code. Uh, it's a shorty but a goodie. Commandment 81. A bro leaves the toilet seat up for his bros. That's it. Um, and, and that only applies, you know, like when I used to live in this house, there was two other bros that lived with me. And, um, you know, you can leave the seat up. But then when, you know, 
you combine forces with a lady and you kick your other bros out, fellas. Put the suit down when you're done. You don't want them in the middle of the night to fall into the toilet bowl. Just saying. I got validation from the room. You didn't see it. Please rate and subscribe if you haven't already. <coughs> I'll talk to you soon. <coughs> Deuces.